So I think you have to click something. And it's a bit of a pain, but that's just a security thing, I think, for you, for you. Okay, we'll take our times and just come down onto your mat. And just lying down in any way that you wish, so you can have your legs long or your feet flat on the floor, whatever really suits you. And just taking a few moments, just at the start of class. Just coming away from your morning and beginning to draw your attention in this. So just becoming aware of your breath. So just as it moves in and out through your nose. And just allow the breath just to flow easily. So then as your breath starts to smooth out, begin to notice your body and just how it feels this morning. So maybe noticing any areas of discomfort or tension and try and allow them to relax. As your body starts to release its hold, just taking a moment just to notice how you feel. Just simply allowing your thoughts to move in and out through your head so you're not trying to hold on to anything at all. So in today's class, we're gonna do a cooling summer practice. So we're trying to use postures which are more calming. Um, our flow will be quite kind of smooth and easy moving. So we'll not be holding um, the standing posture is particularly for very long, but just trying to, to kind of flow through it and create a, an airy type of feel to the class. So when you're ready, we'll start to move a little bit. So you could just move your fingers and your toes along. Um, I'm going to bend the knees so you could have your feet flat onto the ground. And then we'll draw the knees just in towards your chest. So as you bring your knees in, take hold of your knees or maybe your shins. As you inhale, we'll draw the knees towards your chest and lift your tailbone just a little bit off the ground. On the exhale, just slowly release back down again. So do that again, so inhale, lifting up, maybe lift the upper body if you like as well, so your nose can come up towards your knees. And then on the exhale, just slowly release it all back down again. So do that again. So inhale, drawing in, lifting up. And on the exhale, just slowly melt back down. So do that one more time. So again, drawing the knees in. And releasing back down. So when you come back down, we'll take the hands just behind the back of your thighs now. I'm just going to roll a little bit forwards and back. So if you don't really like doing this, you don't have to do it much. But if you start to just feel a sense of kind of massaging your spine as you move forward and back. So we're just taking it along the length of your spine. And just when you're ready, you can make your way up to sitting. So, you know, if you'd rather roll over onto your side and come up, then do that. So we'll come up to sitting when you're ready. So just take your time. Um, we're just going to find a seat when you come up. So just a easy pose to cast now with the legs crossed. And if you want to, you can also sit in a block here if that is better for you. But try and sit up nice and tall. Relax your shoulders. And just have your hands maybe just on your legs here. So just palms down. So we're going to do a little um, breathing practice. It's a... Um, a kind of cooling practice, it's called sitali or shitali, and it depends on um, the way that you, you, you do the breathing will depend on what it's called. So the first thing you have to establish is whether or not you can roll your tongue inwards. 
Okay, so you can try that. So you just roll the two sides of your tongue together. Just to create a little kind of rolled up in a cigar kind of shape. So if you can do that, then you can do satali. If you can't manage that, then you're going to take your teeth together and you leave your lips open. So you kind of breathe air through your teeth. So we're going to do it. You can close your eyes and you can have your, um, your, we're going to take your chin to your chest so you can kind of look down as you do it. But either create that little rolled up tongue or bring your teeth together and open your lips. And then take a deep breath in, so through your mouth. Now hold that, lift your chin back up, close your mouth, and exhale through your nose. So we'll do that again, so lower the chin, either roll your tongue or teeth together, inhale. And then lift the chin, close the mouth, exhale through your nose. So we'll do that a couple more times, again lower the chin. Inhale, so as if you're kind of sipping a cool glass of water, that's kind of what how it should feel. And then lifting the chin, close the mouth and exhale through the nose. Okay, we'll do that one more time. So again, lowering your chin. Lift the chin, close the mouth, exhale through the nose. And then from there, we'll just come back into either just an inhale and exhale through your nose or maybe a ujjayi breath, which is both cooling and warming at the same time. So if you remember with the ujjayi breath, we create a little constriction at the back of our throats and it's a little bit audible. So you want to hear something. Okay, so whatever, however you're breathing, we're gonna come in for a little twist. So we're gonna take your left hand just onto your right knee and then take your right hand, so fingertips behind you, and we'll just come in just for a gentle twist here. So using your left hand to draw yourself round, right fingertips to lengthen your spine. Maybe turn your head and look over your shoulder if that feels okay. If it doesn't, then don't bother. We'll take one more deep in here. We're gonna keep the left hand where it is, and then take your right arm all the way across towards that left knee if you can. And then we're gonna try and round a little bit here. So if you draw your belly in and, and really round through your back, so you're even leaning back a little bit to get that stretch across the shoulders. Okay, from here, keep the cross of your arms, but release your hands. And you can either bring your hands just on your shoulders, so that'll give you a little stretch there, or coming in for the bind, Take your hands and we're either going to wrap around again, so you take hold of your forearm or the other hand. So just see how that feels. So just coming in for Garadasana arms. If you start to gently lift up through your elbows and maybe pull your wrists back a little bit so they're more in line with your elbows. Just a little squeeze through the top of the shoulders. Again, release it if it feels too much. Take one more deep inhale here. Slowly release your arms, so just unravel them. And then maybe roll your shoulders a little bit. So we'll do the other side, so same thing. So take your right hand onto your left knee, left fingertips behind you, lengthen the spine and draw yourself around. So in order to get a twist, we have to keep one part of our body still and then move through the rest of it. So here we're trying to keep our hips still and on the ground and then rotating from your belly button up. Okay, on and in here. We'll come back to the center. Keep your right hand where it is and move that left hand all the way across. So again, coming in for that little dip shape. So we're trying to round your back. So it's kind of like a cat shape and that would round the back and pull the belly in. You can lean back a little bit more if you want more of a stretch. Okay, we'll release the hands. So again, coming back in, so either hands on your shoulders again, or maybe take that bind. So we cross the arms over, and that arm, hands can come around, grab your forearm, or maybe the other hand. 
Gently start to lift the elbows and move the wrists back. Again, if it's too much, then loosen it a little bit. If it's not enough, maybe give it a little bit of a squeeze. When you're ready, slowly start to unravel your arms and then maybe give them a little go. Okay, from here we're going to move to all fours, so just take your time coming around. If you use blocks, you can also bring the blocks with you. But as we come round, we'll come on to the hands and the knees. So spreading your hands, make sure your knees are under your hips. And we'll just do a few cat cows here. So on the inhale, dropping through your belly and drawing the chest forwards. On the exhale, pull the belly in, round through your upper back and shoulders. So in your own time and at your own pace, try and match that movement to your breath. Okay, we'll just do one more of these. So again, take your time moving through it. And when you're ready on your next inhale, just make your way back towards the center. So we're keeping the belly in. Now this time as you inhale, we're gonna lift up through your right arm. So we're just gonna lift it and stretch it up towards the ceiling. So we're just opening up through your chest. So we're trying kind of to align the shoulders here and keep your hips nice and still. Take one more big inhale. And then on the exhale, we're gonna take that arm and you're gonna feed it all the way underneath your left arm. And then if you can, you're gonna lay yourself down so the side of the head comes towards the ground and you lie on that shoulder. So if that's too much, you can lift, lift it off a little bit. If it's okay, maybe come on to it a bit more. And if you want a bit more here, you could walk the knees back a little bit which gives it a little, there's a little bit more weight then on your shoulder. Or maybe take your left hand and start to stretch it all the way forward. So you get a really strong stretch through the left side of your body. But again, just see how it feels for you and ease off if it's too much. Move further in if it's not enough. Okay, we'll take one more deep in here. When you're ready, bring that left hand in front of your face and start to press yourself up. Okay, we'll try the other side. So when you're ready on an inhale, just lifting through your left arm. So again, opening up through your fingers, pulling the hand back a little bit without forcing it. So you're just easing into it and taking it to where it feels right. One more deep inhale. And then on the exhale, take the arm all the way underneath that right arm. Again, lay yourself down, see how it feels before you start doing anything. Maybe you move your knees back a bit, if you want a little bit more weight on the arm. Maybe you walk the right hand forward, so stretch it all the way out so it's really long and you're getting a nice strong stretch through the right side of your body. Well done. Okay, when you're ready, we'll start to come back up. So move the right hand in front of your face, start to press yourself up and move back to an all fours position. Okay, so when you come in, we're gonna to move to our downward facing dog now. So we'll tuck the toes under and then we're gonna lift the hips up. So we're just pressing the hips back into down dog. So as you come in, maybe start to pedal out your feet a little bit. Maybe move a little bit side to side. And again, in a cooling aspect, you could take a big breath in at any time and then just sigh it out your mouth. So you're letting go any buildup of heat in your body. Okay, we'll take one more deep inhale. When you're ready, we're going to look forwards and you're going to step your right foot up towards the top of your mat. So take your time stepping it through and then lower down through your left knee. So the left knee drops down towards the ground. Good, so we're coming into this low lunge or Anjani Asana. You could use blocks here for your hands. And if you want to slide your left leg back a little bit to get more of a stretch, then do that. 
and keep your knee over your ankle and your front leg. So drawing the belly and lifting the chest as you inhale will come up. So maybe move your hands to the knee, front knee or maybe reach the arms up. Just see how that feels when you come up. But relax the shoulders, lift the belly and lift through your chest. As we sit here, we're trying to stretch the thighs and stretch through your hips. So allow the hips to drop down a little bit. Okay, we'll take one more deep inhale. When you're ready, release the hands back down towards the mat. So one hand either side of that front foot, and we're going to move back. So we're going to start to straighten your front leg a little bit. So when you're ready, and you can walk your hands back if you like, but just slowly start to bring that front leg just a little bit straighter. You don't have to fully straighten it. Maybe bring the, heel, the toes up so you're coming up onto the heel, but try and keep your hips aligned so you don't want to push out towards that right side. The belly pulls in and the hips are level. Now we're going to move through this, but nice and slowly. So on an inhale, we're going to re-bend the leg. You could keep your hands on the ground, and if you can, reach up with both arms. Good. On the exhale, release the hands down towards the mat and slowly start to re-straighten the front leg again. Good. Okay, we'll do that again. So inhale, bending through your front leg, reaching up with the arms. On the exhale, release the hands down and start to slowly straighten through that front leg. Okay, we'll do that one more time. So again, inhale, start to bend the leg. Reach up with the arms. On the exhale, release the hands down and start to move back. Now this time as you inhale and move forward, we're going to keep the hands on the ground. So just moving forwards again. Okay, so re-bending that leg. From there, we'll tuck the toes under on the back leg. We'll lift through your back knee. I'm going to step back to plank. And as you step back to plank, we'll lower the knees towards the ground. Bend your elbows, lower down through your chin and your chest. So you could lower all the way to the ground or maybe just a little hover and then just move through to cobra. So draw your shoulders down your back, lift your chest. As you exhale, we'll make our way back. So coming up onto the knees first, maybe walk them in, tuck the toes and lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Okay, so we'll do that on the other side. So we'll look forward, step your left foot up towards the top of your mat. Again, when you get there, lower down through your back knee, flatten out in your foot a little bit, maybe slide your right leg back a little. So again, drawing the belly in, start to rise up. So maybe hands to that front knee or lifting up through your arms. But just see how it all feels. Do the legs stretching and the hips sinking. Okay, when you're ready, release the hands all the way back down towards your mat. So from here, we'll start to straighten that front leg. So slowly and gently take it back. So you don't have to fully straighten it, just take it to where it feels right. If it feels right to pull the toes up, pull them up. If it doesn't, then don't. But do keep an evenness in your hips here and use blocks if it helps you for your hands. So again, we're going to move through it. So as you inhale, we'll slowly start to re-bend the front leg. And then if you can, reach up with the arms. You don't have to, you can always keep the arms on the ground. On the exhale, release the hands down. And then move back into that straighter leg. And just take your time. Well done. Move again, so inhale, moving forwards. Reach up with the arms. Exhale, release the hands down and straighten the front leg. Excellent. Okay, we'll do that one more time. So again, inhale, re-bending that leg, reach up. Exhale, release, and move back. So this time, as you move forward on the inhale, keep your hands on the ground. Tuck the toes under on the back leg, lift the back knee, step to plank. Lower down through your knees, your chest and your chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, make your way back. Then we're facing top. So take your time coming through, moving your own way. Do what movement suits you best. Okay, 
Well done. Okay, from here, we're going to walk your hands back towards your feet. So take your time, just walking them back. And you can separate your feet hip distance apart here when you get there. Bend your knees a lot if you need to. Maybe relax the upper body a little bit. You could take hold of opposite elbows and gently sway here, but do keep the belly pulled in. So we're supporting the lower back and the knees are a little bit soft. Okay, from here, release the hands all the way back then. On an inhale, we'll lengthen through your spine, so coming up halfway, so stretching through your back. On the exhale, just fold back in towards your legs, so maybe bend your knees as you come down. Inhale, reach up, so rise all the way up. And on the exhale, palms meet the heart. Okay, we'll do that again, so inhale, reaching with your arms. Exhale, fold forward, so bending the knees as you come back down. Inhale, lengthen your spine, so maybe straighten the legs here. And on the exhale, folding back in. As you inhale, reach up. And on the exhale, palms meet the heart. Okay, we'll do that one more time. So inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Lengthen on the inhale. And this time on the exhale, we'll take the hands in and walk all the way back out to downward facing dog. <coughs> Excuse me. So take your time, place your hands, place your feet, maybe still pedal out through your feet. Lift your belly up and push up and out your hands and your shoulders. Well done. We'll take one more deep inhale. When you're ready, this time lift your heels up. And we're going to take a slow walk up towards your feet, so towards your hands, sorry. So take your time. You might walk up with straight legs, just take little steps up towards the top. You might bend your legs, unplug your hands whenever you need to. Separate your feet hip distance and fold forwards. Again, taking hold of your elbows if you'd like, a little sweep. Okay, we'll release the hands then. So again, inhale, lengthen forwards. On the exhale, just folding back in. As you inhale, reach up. And on the exhale, palms beat the heart. Maybe close your eyes now and just notice how you feel. So your body gently warming up or just taking your time. Okay, we'll release the hands and open the eyes. So at the top of your mat, you can keep your feet apart or just bring them together again. So we'll do an, another couple of uh, movements and stretches just to get us really warmed up. So when you're ready, on an inhale, we'll reach back up with the arms. On the exhale, just folding forwards towards your legs. Lengthen on the inhale. This time on the exhale, we'll step back with your right leg. So as you step back with your right leg, you could keep your back knee up off the ground. If you need to lower it down, then please just lower it down towards the ground. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to do the same thing again. You've got another two options. So one of them would be the knee on the ground. The other one is keeping your hands on the ground. Okay, so we're going to move through the leg again. So again, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly start to straighten that front leg a little bit. On the inhale, re-bending through your leg. Good, so do that again. So again, your back knee could be on the ground here. You don't have to have it lifted, but just see how it feels. And just move through the leg in the way that feels best to you. Okay, we'll do that once more. When you come back in, so we're back with the front leg bent, we're going to step to plank again. So this time, either lower your knees or maybe just bend your elbows to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing or Cobra. As you exhale, we'll make our way back, downward facing dog. So breathing deeply, maybe taking a deep breath in through your nose, maybe sighing it out of your mouth, just whatever works for you. Well done, we'll take one more deep inhale. When you're ready, lift your heels up, looking forwards, either these steps or walks up towards the top. 
whatever feels right to you. Just take your time. Separate your feet again when you get there. As you inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, just folding back in. On the inhale, reach up. And on the exhale, palms meet the heart. So we'll do that on the other side. So inhale to reach. Exhale to fold. Lengthen on the inhale. And step back with your left leg on the exhale. Again, when you get there, maybe lower down through that back knee. Just work where it feels right. Maybe keep the back knee lifted and then start to move through it to so deep inhale. And then on the exhale, start to slowly straighten that front leg again. Inhale to bend. And exhale. Take your time to move through your own pace. Don't force the leg, so take it to where it feels right. We'll do one more. And then re-bend the leg. So when you come in for that re-bent leg, we're going to step back to plank again. Lowering down your own waist and knees down. Bend the elbows to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale. Take it back, downward facing dog. Well okay, we'll take one more deep inhale here. We're going to come up towards the top of your mat again. So lifting through your heels, walk or step up. So maybe take these little tiny steps if that feels nice through the back of your legs. Just however you come up to the top is up to you. When you get there, inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale to fold back in. As you inhale, reach up. And on the exhale, palms meet the heart. Again, maybe just closing your eyes just for a moment. Hopefully you're still feeling kind of cool. Okay, we'll release the hands and open the eyes. So we're going to do a, a little balance there. So we're going to do Garudasana. Again, that's our eagle pose and you can use a block here. So if you've got a block, you could use that for your foot. But just work where you can with it. Use a wall if you need to, or use a chair or whatever you like. So we're gonna stand on your right leg. We're gonna bend your right leg a little bit. And we're gonna pull the belly in. And then with your left leg, you're gonna lift your knee up and we cross over at the thighs. So you're going to cross the thigh over and again you could just put your foot onto the block as you cross it over if that feels okay for you. If not you can take that leg and then wrap your foot around the back of that right calf. Making sure that when you do that you don't kind of pull over towards one side but you want to keep your hips as level as you can and then we start to bend through the right leg. Again just see how it all feels Maybe bring your hands towards the center and just hold that. Good. And adjust it whenever you need to come out of it, whenever you want to. And then if you want to add the arms, so this is similar arms to what we did before, we're going to stretch them out. And then your left arm is going to come under the right. So you might just come in and grab hold of your shoulders again. Maybe you come in for that bind, but just see how it all feels. Work where you can. Good. So the elbows lift, the sit bones press down, and the knee bend. Well done. Okay, we'll take one more deep in. Slowly and carefully start to release the arms and the legs. Bring your feet together. Bring your hands together. And just see how that feels. Okay, we'll try it on the other side. So again, maybe separate your feet a little bit for balance. Standing on your left leg. Again, if you're using the block, move it round to the side of your left foot. And then pull your belly in and start to lift up through that right leg. So wrap over at the top of your thighs. Maybe just rest your foot on the block. Maybe took your foot around the back. But just see how it feels. Align your hips. So watch that knee's not pulling you around. Sink through your hips and bring the arms in. So it's like we're taking a seat into it. 
Good. So either stay here, maybe add the arms, stretch them out. Right arm under left this time. Again, just to any degree, shoulders, hands, forearm. Lift the elbows, sink the hips, and breathe. Well done. Okay, slowly and carefully, unravel your arms, unravel your legs, bring your feet together, hands together, and close the eyes. Well done. Very nice. Okay, we'll come in and we'll do some standing postures now. So again, you might need a block still. Um, we're going to do a wide leg forward fold, so you might need it for that, but just see how it goes. So we'll start up at the top of your mat. So as you come in, again, if you want to not do the sun salutation bit of it, then you could just step back with your left leg to a warrior one position, because that's where we're going to start. Otherwise, if you're joining me, spread your toes, lengthen through your legs, relax the shoulders. So on an inhale, reaching up with your arms. As you exhale, fold forwards towards your legs. Lengthen on the inhale. And we'll make our way back to plank on the exhale. So hands down, set both feet back. Lower your knees or lower down to Chaturanga when you're ready. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, make your way back. Downward facing dog. Well done. Okay, so we're going to step our right foot up towards the top. So look where you're going. Step your right foot through. Turn the heel of the back leg. Place it on the ground. We're coming up to warrior one. So as you inhale, just rising up into that warrior one position. So adjusting where you need to. So if your feet and your legs need a little bit of adjustment, then do that. But turn through the toes of your back foot. Align your shoulders and your hips towards the front and bend into your front leg. Okay, we'll take one more deep inhale here. As you exhale, we're gonna to move to warrior two. So we're gonna spiral around, reaching through your hands, sink through your legs. So again, you might need a little bit of adjustment. So that back foot might turn a little bit just so that it's facing towards the long edge. Reach through your hands, sink through your legs, and try and get a feeling of openness through your hips. So pulling back on the left hip, and the right knee. And from here, we're going to reverse it. So we're going to take the left hand down the back thigh, turn your right hand up, and then without moving through your legs, lift up through your arm. So maybe look up towards that top hand. Again, watching your breathing. Okay, we're going to move back to warrior two. So slowly release the arms. And we're coming in for side angle. So lengthen forwards. Maybe take your right forearm just down towards that thigh. And your top hand can reach up, go behind you. Or if you can, stretch it over your ear. If you want a little bit more, then grab a block. Take your hand down towards the block. Or maybe down towards the ground. But just see how it all feels. Move in your own way and work with what is best for you. So without aiming to get anywhere, just take it to where you can. Good. Okay, we'll take one more big breath. Start to move up, so pull your belly in, lift yourself back up, reach with the arms. From here, we're gonna straighten through your front legs, so slowly and carefully just straighten up. And then from here, we're gonna move into our star pose, so with your right foot, if you turn it in just a tiny little bit, and then if you turn your left foot out a tiny little bit, so you've now got both sets of toes turning out, and then stretch straight up with the arms. Good. Now from the star, we're gonna move into goddess. So we're gonna bend the legs and bend the elbows. Just coming down a little bit, opening up through your chest, so draw the arms back. Sink through your hips, so tailbone goes down. And just watch your knees so they're not rolling in 
and adjust your position if you need to. Well okay, from there, move back to start, just as you inhale, reach up with the arms, reach up with the legs. And then from there, turn your toes forward towards the long edge of your mat. Okay, as you inhale, reach the arms straight up. And then on the exhale, we'll fold forward. So as you come in again, grab a block if you need to, maybe take your hands onto your thighs if you would like. Now when we come in, we're gonna come in for a twist here. So you could have the block just between your feet, so in the middle of your feet. Your right hand will land on the block or the floor, and then your left hand is gonna reach up and open. So coming in for a little bit of a twist. So as you do that, try and keep your hips as level as you can. So right hand down, left arm reaches up. And again, use the block. We'll change sides. So lower that hand down, left hand to the center between your feet, right arm reaches and opens. And again, we're trying to align your shoulders as much as you can, keeping the hips level and rotating through your belly button. Excellent. Okay, we'll take one more deep in here. Slowly release both hands all the way back down to the ground. When you're ready, we'll move back up. So bending the knees if you need to draw your belly in. Just rise all the way back up to the top. So take your time as you're coming up. Good, okay, from there, turn your right toes up towards the short edge of your mat. Bend into your right leg, take the hands down and we'll turn on the toes of that back leg. So we're in this lunge position again. From here, step back to plank. And from there, you could move straight to down dog. If you do want a little bit more, you want a little vinyasa, then just move forward. Bend your elbows, inhale up, exhale, make your way back, downward dog. So it's up to you. You could always skip that and just move to down dog. So we'll do the other side when you're ready. So we're going to look forward. You're going to step your left foot towards the top of your mat. As you do that, turn on the heel of that right leg and start to move up into what you want. Again, reach with your hands, sink with your legs. Make sure your feet are nice and even. Turn the toes of the back foot in and the hips and the shoulders rotate round towards the front. So if you need a little bit more space, then walk out with your left leg or maybe pop your back foot in a little bit. But just see how it all feels. Good, okay. Take one more deep inhale and then we'll open up into warrior two. So releasing the arms, reaching with your fingers, sinking with the legs, good. So really try and find that sense of balance between both of your feet here and a sense of opening up through the hips. So we're really trying to stretch through our hips. And when you're ready, we'll reverse it. So take your right hand down that back thigh, turn your left hand up and then lift and reach up without moving the legs. So keep pressing down through your feet, keep opening up through your hips and stretch a little bit through the upper body. Okay, when you're ready, we'll move back. So just to that warrior two position, but then we're gonna to move to side angle. So lengthen forwards a little bit, forearm down, hand to the ground, maybe reach straight up with the top hand or stretch it over your ear. So getting that continuous stretch up through the side of the body without moving down but it's kind of a diagonal line that we're looking for good and don't force it so just move into where it feels right to you well done okay we'll take one more deep inhale when you're ready pull your belly and start to rise back up again good and then when you come up to warrior two start to straighten through your front leg Okay, from there, turn your left toes in just a tiny little bit and turn your right toes out. So coming back in for that star, we're going to stretch up with the arms. Good, so again, maybe check your feet if you want to bring them in a little bit, if they're a little bit wide, just see how it all feels. And we'll move into goddess again. So slowly start to bend through your legs, bending in the arms. 
Now this time you can stay here with the arms. If you want to, you could come in, bring them into a prayer position in front of your heart and then reach the arms straight up. Again, if that doesn't suit you, then stick with the one you've got or keep your hands towards the center. But reaching up, sinking down, opening through the hips again. Another one. Okay, one more deep in here. Slowly release your hands and then stretch up with the legs and stretch up with the arms. Okay, from here, we'll turn the toes forward, so towards the long edge of your mat again. As you inhale, reach straight up with the arms. As you exhale, fold forwards towards your legs. So again, bending your knees, maybe take your hands to your thighs, just take it to where you can. So again, as you come down to this forward fold, we're gonna come in for that twist again. So you could do the same thing, using your block, using your hand in the center. If you want a little bit of different stretch, then we're gonna take your right hand over towards the left leg somewhere. So it might be on your thigh, you might be able to take hold of your calf or your ankle, and then reach it open through your left hand. Again, if that's not open to you, then don't do it, don't force that, but just see how that feels. Okay, we'll take one more deep in here. Slowly release to the center, but then we'll just come in and we'll try it on the other side. So again, left hand to the outside of your right leg somewhere, reaching open through your right hand. So we're trying to get that little rotation in the chest. The hips stay still. Good, very nice. And don't force the arm. So, you know, be soft in your shoulder rather than too aggressive with it. Okay, release that arm all the way back down. And then from here, we'll make our way back up. So again, take your time, maybe bending your knees, pulling your belly in, just rise all the way back up to the top. Okay, when you get there, left toes turn towards the top edge of your mat. Rebend the left leg, take your hands to the ground, turn on the toes of your back leg. Get this time step to plank, and then we're just gonna lower down towards the ground. So we're just gonna have a little rest when we get there. So knees can bend to lower you or just bend your elbows and more. And when you get there, release your feet, bring your arms down and drop your head down towards your arms. And just take a moment there to seeing how it feels. Okay, from here, we're going to come in and do a little bit of practice through our cobra. So we're going to bring your hands around so that they're kind of spread underneath your shoulders. As you do that, try and draw the elbows in towards your rib cage. Now we're going to start to move up here. So when you're ready, you're going to lift up to your nose and then your chin and then your neck, maybe a little bit of your chest. If you can, stay up there when you get there and lift your hands up off the ground. So just see how that feels. Okay, take one more deep in here. Release your hands down and then just lower your head all the way back down towards the ground. So we'll do that once more. So again, as you inhale, start to move forward. So rolling up to your nose, to your chin, your chest, hold there, and then start to lift your hands up off the ground. Again, just see how it feels for you. Okay, when you're ready, slowly and carefully release the hands and lower yourself all the way down. When you get there, bring your hands round, so cross your arms over, and then just drop your head down towards your arms again. So you can just rest there. Okay, from here, we're gonna come in and work a little bit through the legs, so a little bit of a variation on a shalabhasana. So if you separate your feet this time, about the hip distance apart. When you're ready on an inhale, we'll start to lengthen through your legs. And if you can manage, lift both of your legs up off the ground. So just holding that position. 
If that feels enough for you, you can stay with that. If you want to add the upper body, we're going to stretch the arms out. So in line with your shoulders, so really long arms. And then as you inhale, start to lift through your upper body as well. So the upper body lifts, the arms lift, fingers reach, the legs lift. Belly is cool down and we're breathing deeply. Uh -huh. One more deep inhale. Slowly and carefully release everything back down. Can you bring your arms back round, so cross them over, lower your head down, and just take a moment, see how that feels. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to make our way up to a sitting position. So take your time, bring your hands under your shoulders, press yourself up onto your knees, and then you can walk them in and, and take a little seat. So before we start on this, this little section, if you do have a strap handy, then you might need that. You might not. You can just see how you go. We're just going to stretch out through your hamstrings a little bit more, but it'd be handy if you have a strap. Okay, we're going to sit, first of all, with your legs nice and long. We're going to do a twist, so there are two variations to this twist, so just see how you get on with it. So we're going to keep your left foot flexed, your left leg straight, bend your right leg in, and then take your right foot over the top of your left leg. And you can come in for the twist there. So I've done this one before, you can use your left hand or your arm, and you can use your right fingertips behind you. If you want a little bit more, you could bend in through the left leg as well. So we just take the left leg, bend it in, and sit like this. But it's the same twist, so don't worry if you don't want to bend that leg in. It can feel a little bit tight on your hips. So same thing. So left arm, left hand, right fingertips behind you. And then turn round towards the right. So breathing deeply, try and lift and lengthen through your spine. Maybe turn and look over your shoulder, but just see how that feels. Again, we're trying to keep the hips still and rotate through the body. Okay, we'll take one more deep inhale. When you're ready, slowly and carefully, make your way back towards the center. As you come to the center, we're gonna stretch out a little bit more through your right leg. So if you've got it crossed over, then bring it to the other side of your left leg. Good. Now from there, you could use your strap. Okay, if you don't have a strap, do not worry, because I can show you an alternative. But if you are using it, it goes on the ball of your foot, and then we just lift and extend the leg up and out. If you don't have a strap, don't worry. You can take your hands behind the back of your thigh, lift the leg up, so we're just straightening it, behind the back of your calf. Or maybe you can take hold of your foot, but just see how it feels. You don't have to, and you can always bend your knee a little bit if you feel it's too much. And think more of lifting it up rather than out. So, you know, even if you have to bend your leg a little bit, but just see how that all feels without forcing it in any way. Good. Okay, from here, you can either stay here or we're gonna come in for a little bit of a twist. So if you have a strap, take both of your straps into your left hand. And then your right hand is going to reach behind you. If you don't have a strap, then just keep your left hand on your leg and reach back with your right hand. Good. And maybe look behind you. But again, just see how it feels. And you'll have to do the twisting part either. You can just stay towards the front. Just stretch through the front of that leg. Good. Okay, when you're ready, slowly release your right hand back. Slowly re-bend the leg and release it down. Now from there, we're going to come in for Janu Shirasana. So if you've got this left leg still bent, then you're just going to move the foot towards the inside of your thigh. If you do have it bent, then just bend into the left leg and take it towards the inside of your thigh. So if the knee's high, maybe support it, maybe try and push that knee down a little bit. And then turn your body so you're more aligned with your right leg. So your spine should be kind of in line with that. Again, you could use a strap here. So just around the ball of your foot 
and then just ease yourself forward. Otherwise, inhale to reach up. And then as you exhale, move forwards towards that leg. So as you do that, you can lay your hand down on the leg, maybe the ankle, maybe you can grab the foot. But just see where it takes you without forcing it. And keep an eye on your breathing. So think about lengthening your spine here. So rather than trying to get down anywhere, just lengthen it forwards. Okay, we'll take one more deep inhale. When you're ready, just slowly and carefully start to ease yourself back up. Good. Okay, when you're ready, release your legs out in front of you. So maybe give them a little shake again. So we'll come in for the other side. So this time we're going to keep your right leg straight, your foot flex, bend your left leg in. So from here, if you're doing the simple twist, then just take that foot over the other side of it. Use your right hand or your right arm to draw yourself down and use your left fingertips to lift yourself up. Otherwise, stay where you are, but then bend your right leg in. So again, just see how it feels. Try to keep yourself sitting on both sit bones, especially when you're doing that kind of double leg crossover. Just try and stay as centered as you can. And then rotate around. Maybe turn and look over your shoulder but just where it feels right to you. Okay, slowly back towards the center. So again, this time we're gonna stretch your left leg. So if you bring your left leg to the other side of that right one, if you've got your strap, then use it around the ball of your foot and just extend the leg forwards and up. Otherwise, hands bring the back of your thigh hands behind the back of your calf or your ankle, or maybe you grab the sole of your foot. Just see how it all feels. Work where you can, and bend the leg a little bit if you need to, so you don't have to fully straighten that leg. Try to keep sitting on both sit bones, so even your weight out. Okay. So again, if you want to come in for the twist, then if you're using a strap, both of your straps into your right hand. Otherwise, keep hold of your leg with your right hand and reach back with your left. So we're stretching all the way back. Good, very nice. Again, don't worry about it. You can always just stay towards the front, bending in the leg. You all right there, Janae? Okay, take one more deep inhale. Slowly release your left hand. Slowly re-bend the leg and release it down. So we're coming in for Janya Shirasa on this side. So your left leg is going to stay straight. Bend your right leg in and take it towards the inner thigh on that left leg. So release it down towards the ground a little bit. Rotate your body round towards that straight leg. So if you're using your strap, take it around the ball of your foot and draw yourself forwards. Otherwise, inhale to reach, exhale to fold down. And just take it to any place that feels right. So it might be on the ground, you might take it to your leg or your ankle or your foot. But without straining, just move to where it feels nice. And, you know, a little bit of a stretch, but not anything too extreme. And keep an eye on your breathing. Well done. Okay, when you're ready, slowly start to release, make your way back up. Release your legs out in front, and we'll just give them a little shake. So from here, we're going to make our way down onto your back. So just take your time. As you come down, have your knees bent, feet flat on the floor, and the heels quite close towards your bottom. Relax your arms down by your side. So we're going to come in for a little bridge.
bridge here. So as you inhale, we'll just press through both of your feet, start to lift your hips up. So coming to any level here. So if you want to move up a little bit higher, then move up. If you're quite happy where you are, then just stay there. If you want to, and you're on your shoulders, maybe start to move the shoulder blades underneath your back a little bit more and clasp your hands, but just see how it all feels. Work where you can. Okay, when you're ready, we'll make our way back down. So slowly release your hands if you've got them clasped and just gently lower yourself all the way back down to the ground. Okay, from here, we're gonna move into Shavasana, so our final relaxation. So you could stay here with your feet on the ground. You can draw your knees in and take any final movements. You can grab a pair of socks or jumper or whatever you need to. And then coming into Shavasana, maybe take your legs long, maybe spread your arms wide, palms up, relax the shoulders and the head and the neck and just start to take some long slow breaths in the night through your nose. As you continue to take these long breaths, start to let your body relax a little bit. With each breath that you take, your body relaxes a little bit more. Now imagine that you're sitting outside and the sun is shining strong overhead. Feel the sunshine begin to warm you up one body part at a time. Move slowly, noticing the sun's warmth covering one body part at a time. So starting at your toes, moving up through your legs, to your hips and your torso, through your shoulders and arms, to the neck and the face, and finally the crown of your head. Notice how it feels to be covered by the sun's warmth. Now imagine a cooling breeze starting to move in, moving down one body part at a time, cooling you off. From the crown of your head to your face and neck, through the shoulders and the arms, through the torso to the hips, through the legs and the feet, all the way down to the toes. And notice how calm, cool and relaxed you feel. When you're ready, we'll take a deep breath in through your nose. And then this time, just breathe it out of your mouth. So just let it go. We'll do that again. So deeply inhaling. And then just let it go. And then maybe start to move a little bit. So through your fingers and through your toes. Maybe taking your arms and stretching them overhead. And when you're ready and bring the arms back over, you could start to bend your knees. So maybe take your feet on the ground or draw the knees to your chest. And you can move a little bit side to side. And if you'd like, maybe rolling over onto your side, but just if that feels okay to you. And then just when you're ready, we'll 
we'll start to make our way up. So take your time, maybe keep your eyes closed. Move in your own way. And when you're ready, we'll come to a sitting position. Bringing the palms together just in front of your heart. Leaving a little gap just to signify an openness in your heart. So thank you so much for coming along and practicing with me this morning. I hope you enjoyed our cooling summer practice. Namaste. Thank you very much, everyone. Any questions at all, please 